So this is not my primary channel. My actual primary channel is crazy with three E's, Nigrafagretard. And over there I post uh, robots and stuff like that. Over here, sometimes I post vlogs, sometimes I post uh, 3D prints. For instance, here's a baby elephant and his trunk is quite phallic. Here are a bunch of 3D swastikas, so that's scary. Um, there's a rhino. I guess that's another elephant right there. It's not really much to look at. They're just little figurines, and I don't really always play with them. But that's what I do on this channel, and also I share, kind of overshare, and I give you TMI. Um, for instance, on my other channel, I just recently discovered the Jankum community. It's been really opening to me and rewarding to talk about that. And I've got a bunch of new subscribers because I huff the brown puff. I, I, I ride the brown dragon. I snort the farts of Lucifer dash Jesus, actually mostly just Buddha, because I zone out, I brown out, and then I discover Nirvana, I discover a paradise of pure poop. And it's a different experience every time. And I, it's not that I can't recommend it enough, it's that it's a cause. Like the community around Jankum is like a religion or a cult, but not, not in any bad way. I know those things are terrible. Cults and religions are so annoying. And that's the kind of thing that I admit to on this channel that I'm rather annoying. <laughs> I post a lot of videos. They're pretty long and every person has their own perspective on the internet. It's kind of like a funhouse mirror room where there's a bunch of reflections and each one's a little different. And recently, I, uh, for instance, I lost a subscriber or a frequent commentator shit in a bucket. And I loved this guy, but the reason he quit on me or the, the video I posted right before he quit on me, I talked about my baby and a, a head injury. And I kind of dropped her docs there and a very personal doc. And I was just reading with her. And again, it's sharing too much because it's not, it's another human being. So she might not want you, whoever you are, nobody knows to know exactly what we read, but we read about a fairy in a dollhouse. And I'm okay sharing that kind of information. I don't have a private self, but that's the thing about shit in a bucket is that he said, you're crazy, man. And I don't use crazy that way. I think that's sanest, but he's like, you're crazy sharing so much because privacy is really important. And you're totally wrong with your disregard for privacy yours and other people's. And I don't know what to say to that, except that I think it's an illusion. I think what's private is public. It just hasn't made itself public. And so I think privacy amounts to being a little skittish about somebody else watching you pee or poop or have sex or fall down a flight of stairs or getting a, a ball kicked to your balls. You don't wanna be laughed at. You don't wanna look the fool. You don't wanna be disgusting. But beyond that, there's nothing. There's nothing. Privacy is bullshit, in my opinion. And so, so what? What's my point? Anyway, he stopped leaving comments and didn't reply to any of my comments to him after I showed that side of my daughter without her giving her permission. Of course, she's too young to 
understand the implications of losing privacy to an advertising machine like Google is, where the ads are custom made for you, and yet they're strangely irrelevant. For instance, I skipped an ad today that asked me what age group I'm in. So what do they really know about me? And is it dangerous for me for them to have that information? And of course, it kind of is because your data is your data and it's valuable. But how valuable and in what shape it takes value? That's not entirely in your hands. And it's also weird. It's weird. Like the way that corporations package us as goods differs from corporation to corporation and they sell it to other corporations that have their own products and their own advertisement revenue. And it's just a big, weird, wild system. So that's where the title of this video gets its name. Um, the people that are sub new sub to my other channel I haven't gotten a taste of this. This is a 10 minute video. And like I said earlier, I am annoying and it's a problem. Um, but I like to delve deep into things and really explore my thoughts. And with shit in a bucket, I cared about him so much that I feel like it's just shameful to lose him as a friend because it must have taken like a real screw up for him to get so offended as to stop commenting to me because he was such a supporter. And that happens to me online all the time. And I, I end up like making switches that I'm not gambling on. For instance, as shit in a bucket disappeared, binary Bible became to be a big connection of mine online. And it's not a trade that I necessarily would have wanted to make. And so all I'm trying to say in this video is that the internet is a weird, wild wonderland of was. And what is how you say W. It just is. There are some facts that are facts, even though they are opinions. They're just better opinions. A W doesn't look like two U's. It looks like two V's. It doesn't sound like duh, bull, or you. It sounds like what. What is entirely different. And so it's not stupid to, to value alpha songs and to recognize that for a good alpha song, you want every letter to be the same length. You want it to take the same amount of time to say a letter because you're going to split them up and mix them up and skip them and switch them and explore how many possible alphabets there are 4.03 times 10 to the 26 to the twixth power. That's so many alphabets. And yet we've all been stuck with one our whole lives. And that's what the internet does is it complicates things and then it complicates things way out of control. And this is where trust comes in. Because I trust that my time spent online, even though it is goggled up, gobbled up by Google or Facebook, even though I get banned from Twitter, from, from Facebook, from Plants vs. Zombies, and I lose my data, I lose my position, I still feel Sharing is so important and sharing is caring and I care about everyone. And so I want to share part of myself, but just the right part of myself. And so that's where the internet comes in because we can custom make the internet for what we can provide others. And that idea of being a public servant is so powerful to me that I just want to be useful to everyone in every way that they need. And so it's a lofty goal. And of course I fall short. And so I recommend you check out my other channel. You'll get to see robots and zaniness. Thanks for watching me here. Take care.